According to a survey conducted by Suicide Prevention Resource Center in 2019, one male dies by suicide every 14.4 minutes in the United States. With these exponentially rising numbers, it has become an inevitable necessity to look at behaviors that help reduce the risk of suicide attempts and death by suicide. But how we can actually avoid and respond to such suffering is still a big issue lurking around. And for that, we'll have to understand the core difference between empathy and sympathy. So in this video, we'll explain what sympathy is, what empathy is, and what's the difference between these psychological terms. So let's begin. What is sympathy? Sympathy is the situation in which you start being aware of and sensitive to the needs and suffering of others. It's like recognizing or feeling the reality of a challenging situation. And without even doing anything wrong, you feel pity or sorry for someone else's feelings without even knowing how they feel. And because you're showing sadness, you still have an emotional borderline around yourself to keep from feeling what the victim is feeling. Apart from that, sympathy can also lead someone to give unwanted advice to help the other person deal with their emotions which sometimes looks weird. And it's very common for you to pass judgment, especially when you're a sympathetic person. What is empathy? Unlike sympathy, empathy is understanding and feeling what other people are going through on someone else's behalf. Or you can say it involves taking part in their suffering. The ability to empathize requires imagination, since it requires the individual empathizing to put themselves in the other person's position and feel the heaviness of the situation. To prove empathy, an empathetic will consciously rejoice with those who rejoice and grieve with those who weep. However, more important than cheering or crying is making an effort to actually listen to and know another person to finally absorb the experience they are having. Or you can say empathy is non-judgmental. It's a mindset that involves being open-minded, curious, and willing to share tissues. It is treating another person the way you want to be treated. But the problem with most people is that they just mix up sympathy with empathy. If you want to know how to enable yourself to choose the fitting response in any given situation, you must know these key differences between sympathy and empathy. So, let's see the difference. The differences between empathy and sympathy. Empathy is basically having a deeper connection with someone's feelings, whereas sympathy is just an understanding of someone's feelings and sufferings without having a deep connection. When we deal with a person with empathy, we provide them the freedom to own and process their feelings and emotions. We encourage them to think about what they are experiencing and give a safe area to express all of their feelings, including the unpleasant ones. We shift into a mode of problem solving when we can relate to sympathy. We have opinions and assessments on how individuals should act and feel about themselves. This not only makes the person's concern seem less significant, but it also disregards how they're feeling. Another big difference is our ego, which is the major source to help us show sympathy. It is something we know we ought to do, and oftentimes, it also involves telling others what they should do or how they should feel. Compassion originates in the emotional core where experiencing the suffering of another person and having a common bond with them is normal. Empathy helps both the individual who is sharing his thoughts and the one who is listening to cultivate the sentiments of acceptance and comprehension everyone craves. Whatever the situation is, demonstrating empathy for others will bring you and those around you closer together. In contrast to pity, which is only shown when someone is going through difficult circumstances, empathic understanding may be practiced at any time. Imagine you go to a relative's house and you see your aunt yelling at her daughter, your cousin, in front of everyone. As a sympathetic person, you might tell your cousin, I know it sucks to have strict parents. You just have to deal with them. But as an empath, 
You would ask your cousin to share her issues with you and talk it out. You would feel what she must be going through and will make a genuine connection with her. Now, let's check which is better, sympathy or empathy. Sympathy just involves a surface level understanding of others' emotions without forming an extensive connection. It only consists of seeing situations from your own perspective without looking at them from someone else's perspective. On the other hand, empathy makes you live through someone else's pain. It's like walking in someone else's shoes, which is why you'll be able to provide the person with what they really need. Furthermore, Empathy can lead you to better your leadership qualities as it helps you understand what everyone around you feels. It can also help you at your workplace where you can bond with your peers and colleagues and consequently make a high performance team. At this point, you may be thinking that empathy is superior to sympathy and that sympathy should be avoided. Or to put it another way, one is unquestionably superior to the other. In such scenarios, you need to consider the circumstances rather than focusing on whether something is good or harmful. It's essential to be empathetic, yet it might wear you out. It's a matter of commitment. It's a deep, deep connection. And as residents of a connected society, we are constantly bombarded with terrible news, heartbreaking accounts, and chaotic occurrences that are beyond our ability to influence. So it is impossible for us to feel empathy for each and every individual on the earth because we would get emotionally exhausted. A kind response can be helpful because it enables us to understand the injustice, suffering, and tragedy that are pervasive in our society after which we can make choices regarding how we might purposely change our community. The capacity for empathy keeps our hearts and minds alert and awake, and it directs our behavior accordingly. But having empathy is very necessary when it comes to people. The universe has blessed us with the opportunity to love and care for others, such as our family, friends, neighbors, coworkers, and members of our community. In point of fact, the degree to which you are able to empathize with others will decide how deep your connections go. What do you think is better, empathy or sympathy? Are you an empathetic person? Or do you just prefer being sympathetic, just like lots of people around you? Do let us know in the comments below. If you're visiting the channel for the first time, Make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss any of the videos we upload. Thanks for watching.